The clinometer allows you to measure the angle of inclination or declination. The spring-loaded trigger securely holds a freely pivoting indicator to the desired angle. Let's take this outside and actually see it in action. I'm going to attempt to measure the height of the tree to the top of that particular branch circled in red. Before we do that, let's just go over the background and geometry that we're going to need to find. I need to know the distance to the base of the tree, the angle to the topmost branch, and also how high off the ground is my arm when it is horizontal to the ground. Once the distance to the base of the tree, angle to the top, and the height called H2 is known, you can use these formulas to determine the height to the top of the tree. So here I am measuring the angle to the highest part of the tree. Here I am noting H2. So plugging these values in, H2 is 5 feet, our angle is 42, and the distance to the base of the tree was 99 feet. You can also use this to determine the maximum height of a rocket, but just realize that with perfect geometry, a rocket should go straight up, but we all know that's not going to happen, and the wind will make it go off to one side or the other. If you are testing rockets for a class on the same day, with the same wind patterns from the same position, you can still get a relatively usable maximum height of the rocket. 